Well, hello, everybody. It's D. Rod Jenkins here with a brand new Let's Play. Uh, if you're familiar with this screen, you already know what the Let's Play is. And if you're not familiar with this screen, uh, I suggest you educate yourself, because it is Final Fantasy VII, originally for the PlayStation, but this is the PC version. Uh, it was made possible by IDOS, which they're the people who made Tomb Raider and other stuff, I guess. They also made a game called Gangsters. Bet you didn't know that, or you did. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the story behind this is... I was talking to my cousin Jason about Final Fantasy VII, and I had uh, let slip that I actually haven't beaten this one yet, which is kind of kind of messed up, considering I've actually beaten Ocarina of Time. Although, to be fair, uh, I beat Ocarina of Time, like, recently, you know? When, I, when the 3DS came out, that's the first game I had for it. And so, um, but yeah, I've never beaten this one. I've gotten to the end of it, and I, you know, where the, the crater is, you go down and fight Genova and then Sephiroth, but I've never actually gone down into the crater. I wanted to get my guys up to level 99 and max out Materia, make sure I have a gold Chocobo and all this kind of crazy crap, and uh, get all their uh, limit breaks and that kind of stuff, but I, I run out of steam after a while, and, um, and then this shows up on steam. And uh, it actually has unlockable achievements, which is stuff like get to level 99 and get all the cool uh, ultimates and um, ultimates, the uh, level 4 limit breaks. And uh, max out your materia, get knights the round and all this cool stuff. And I was like, well, most of these I, I can do, you know? it's Most of them are... Uh, I had done them back in the day where I was like, okay, well, I gotta get knights of the round. I gotta get a gold chocobo. But, um... Like, I've never beaten Ruby Weapon. I've never beaten Emerald Weapon. Like, those are the two two big daddies, you know? And so I figured, you know, we'll achieve all those uh, achievements. Which is kind of going to suck, because, um, like, with Ares, you got to be at a certain part. Because, again, I don't want to give away spoilers, but she may or may not, uh, you know, die. But, um, and, uh, uh, so there's this, like, window that you got to get her ultimate limit break in, and it kind of sucks. But I think it's like I think we can get it, but we don't necessarily have to get her up to the point of actually having to use it to actually get the achievement. So, but I don't know. For the sake of uh, entertainment, we'll do this anyway. I'm I'm going on a, a tangent here, so let's just kind of fire this up real fast. Also, sorry about the sound. It's going to be really loud, and you're going to hear my voice just yelling at you while it's being loud. I guess. And um, a few other things. It's going to lag. If you've seen my other. Let's Plays, all of them lag. There's nothing I can do. My computer just sucks. It doesn't like running two things at once. And, um, I decided I wanted to do a format for this one which was more, like, 15 minute increments, and then I kind of sign off for each one, and, uh, kind of make it a little bit more official that way, I suppose. I don't know. So I time myself and make sure that I keep it around 15 minutes, even though I could, I could probably play the entire thing in one sitting. Well, not one sitting, but I'm, I'm saying in one recording, I could probably post that on YouTube, because I think I'm allowed to do that. And, um, I figured this would be a lot easier to watch if it was about 10 to, I want to say 10 to 15 minutes. And, uh, hell, we've already eaten up way too much time, so. Not as much gameplay in this one, but, you know, we've got a long ways to go. This is a, this is a big game. And, uh... I feel up for the task, because this, uh, this is one of those games I can always go back to and enjoy playing, because of, uh, not only for the sake of nostalgia, but it's just, it's a fun, entertaining game to play. Oh, here it comes. Oh, God, yes! <laughs> Sorry, apparently I came there for a few, a few seconds. But, I mean, come on, that, like, when I was a kid, that was so cool. I, I saw this light land, I was like, oh my god, it's like the city and stuff. And, um, yeah, that, that got me hooked. Then the commercial, I remember the commercial being pretty fucking awesome. And, uh, oh, I never, never noticed there's like little green roofs on the right there. Go back, you'll notice them. Upper right, green roofs that look like trees. Okay, this is actually a lot better. I've been, I've been running tech stuff, and there was, a. Uh, there were some lag issues with uh, not going full screen, and I went full screen this time, so we're good. Yeah. Come on, come on, follow me! <laughs> that was a horrible Barrett voice. I'm 
that's going to make him sound like um, Action Hank from Dexter's Lab. It's not about the beard you have on the outside, it's about the beard you have on the inside. And then here's our first battle, and um, the achievements that you unlock, I've already unlocked one, which is when your first battle when I was doing tag. And um, so for that, I'm sorry, we didn't get to experience together the first achievement you ever get, which is this. But we'll get to experience our first fight, which is also this, so that's okay. And like I said, it's the only one I've unlocked, so we have a shit ton to do. Also, look at his, look at his shadow. I'm not sure if I ever noticed that as a kid. Get our potions. Oh, did I take potions from these guys? God, memory lapse. It's one of those instincts just to take the two potions from the down guards. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. I gotta do dumb voices for these guys. Oh, also, <laughs> also, I thought Jessie was a girl, or uh, was a boy when I was a kid. Turns out she's a uh, female. Which is gonna, I'm gonna bring that up later, so remember that. I used to think she was a boy when I was uh, younger. Because Jessie's an ambiguous name. I knew a kid named Jessie in her school, and he was a boy, so. Anyway. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing stupid voices for them because they're gonna die, so I don't really care. But he quit and is now with us. I didn't catch your name. And also, we're going regular names because fuck everything else. Their regular names is nostalgia. Cloud, huh? I'm. I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's a little too tough for Cloud. He's kind of a whiny guy. What the hell y'all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mega Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Okay, great, great, great plan, boss. <laughs> I love this part. He turns around, he's like, Soldier, huh? Or ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. And then we're gonna name him Barrett. Because it's Barrett. Press the directional button while pressing cancel to run. <laughs> he just runs off. He's like, what a fucking weird thing to say. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck ever? I know how to run. <laughs> just move your legs. <laughs> like, what would you do if somebody ran up to you and said that? Press the directional button and then press X to run. And then, oh yeah, I just noticed this too when I was doing tech. It's, uh, it's like it says, warning, intruder. Like, they're, they're alerted to the presence. I never noticed that as a kid. And then, boom. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be spieling this entire game probably. <laughs> like I might run out of uh, some fuel later on in the series. Where I'm just like, all right, here we are in the forest getting uh, getting the Typhon materia or Typhoon, whatever it was. I remember this three. I have to go into the forest to get some materia. Go on a materia hunt. And we'll be doing that, getting as many of the summons as we can. I'll be goddamn if I'm letting any of the Bahamuts get away. Any, I'm not letting the ultimate get away. There's some other stuff that you gotta make sure you don't let get away. And I'm saving every single ribbon because uh, the ribbons are certain accessories that um, they're pretty much they pretty much cancel out any status effects and give you some bonuses. I'll secure your escape passage. You concentrate. You concentrate on the mission cloud. Jeez, we're really gonna blow up this huge furnace. This will be fun to see. Again, dumb voices, giving it to him. And see, there, there's that lag I was talking about, but then it goes away, so we're okay. And then we can kind of, yeah, we can have a few fights out here. Seriously. Well, it goes, sorry. There's a little concentrate right there on the, um, not only the battle stuff, but uh, the fact that it's kind of lagging a bit more, too. But it's, uh... It'll be fine. It's not hindering gameplay, I don't think. I don't think it's going to hinder too much. It shouldn't hinder too much, is what I mean. Except slow time, active time battles. That meter just charges very slowly. So once we get to the first Genova, she starts hitting it with, with slow. That's going to be a pain in the ass. But this and that. Here we are, in the Mako Reactor. Yo, this your first time in a reactor? No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. 
Yeah, that, that sounds more like Cloud, where he's just kind of cocky. The plan is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. I don't care. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. <laughs> Alright, you're coming with me from now on. Okay, now when I was younger, this was the weirdest thing. This was like the first confusing thing I'd ever experienced in this game is right after this. Let's, and he, he says, you come with me. And the first thing I thought was, oh, now I gotta follow him through the place and, you know, wherever, stay with him or whatever. But he just kind of starts walking and he's uh, it, what, what's that? What? Barrett? Barrett, where did you go? Barrett, what the fuck happened? Do I go this way? Like, I, I had no idea. Like, I think I ran over here and was like, click, 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 click. I... What do I do? And then eventually I talk to these people where they're like, Because I got the code for this door! And he's like, oh, well, let's see what the code is. One button push. And he's like, code deciphered. Yeah. Good hacking skills there. You push A button. And like, Think of how many people risk their life for this code! <laughs> I'm just gonna get dumber with them, I don't care. Code deciphered. And she runs off, but you gotta branch away and get that phoenix down. Everybody knows about Phoenix Dan. And then, um... So yeah, let's just bring it... I used to always think this was weird, like, looking into it, but it's just a cross-section of, like, a little tunnel. Like, all of it's cross-sectioned. I used to think that it was just... like that, like... That's all, that's all that was built, was just this floor and this one wall over here. A lot of weird things I thought of as a kid. Never really put two and two together. I wasn't a bright child. Push that button over there! Oh yeah, and this right here look. Apparently Jesse's face is in a state of constant surprise. Just like, ah! And she's like, oh god, we're going down! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life, then that'll be that. I won't give a shit. It's not my problem. <laughs> the plan is dire, Cloud. It's like, no. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the Robo Guards come. I don't care how tough Cloud can get, saying Robo Guards just makes him sound stupid. It's like, it's Popeyes. It's like fusion. Ha! Nice. <laughs> Look at Jesse. She's like, ah! Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh shit! What happened? There we go. And then we just follow her down here. Pretty, pretty easy peasy, cheddar cheesy. Oh, oh hell, we're getting low on time on this one. I say after this battle, we'll uh. Take a break, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, this battle, battle shouldn't be too bad. It's a batter. This batter, this beer battered chicken shouldn't be too bad. It's good. It's good batter. Good beer. Just a good, uh, a good combination of flour and seasoning and, and beer. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll take a break right there. And uh, when we get back, we'll uh, continue on to our destruction of the Mako reactor. So until next time, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.